Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report News Briefing for Thursday the 11th of February. The local media headlines today. Inquiries are continuing into the cause of a huge fire which swept across moorland on Tuesday night and into the early hours of yesterday morning. The fire was so intense that it lit up the night sky right across Cornwall. Thousands of people could see the flames wondering what had happened. A similar fire broke out at exactly the same place exactly one year earlier. The fire service believes the blaze was started deliberately. Cornwall reports also kept an eye on County Hall, where the politicking about how much to spend and who to spend it on looks set to keep us amused for months. Meanwhile, on the Covid front, the BBC was among those to tell us that gritting lorries have been told to do what they can to keep vaccination centres open. Drivers of the gritting lorries have been told to prioritise the vaccination centres to make sure that people can continue to get their anti-Covid jabs. Pirate FM covered the case of the Cornish barber who's been fined £1,000 for cutting someone's hair in defiance of the Covid rules. The Falmouth packet has a great story about plans for a rabbit farm near Mylor. The Cornish Times tells us how a former estate agent is spending his retirement. And Cornwall Live is still on the lookout for snow. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.